short recap of what we discussed last week. So, sa mga tuloy pang hisgutan for the past days, Lugar. Okay? Pwede mo mag-mention ng notebook. Okay? So, what do you still remember? Huh? Okay, can you raise your right hand and then say your answer? Okay, so you like that. Okay, then. Evaluating algebraic expression. Okay, evaluating algebraic expression. What do we still remember? Uh, what are some words na atong madumduman kung magisgot kung magisgot tao algebraic expression? Sa to? Substitute. Okay? Kung sabi saya, what does it mean? When you substitute? Pulihan. Ha? So take a pulihan na ito, Ana. Ang letter, or ang tawag sa itawag sa letter? Variable. Variable. So, these alphabets here, from A to Z, kanyang mga letters na itong tawag in algebra, we call it as? Variable. Isa ito? Variable. Ha? Variable. Variable. Spell. V. 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 Okay. I, A, B, L, E. Alright. So, all the letters here will talk about variables. And when we talk about algebraic expression or evaluating algebraic expression, we substitute, or sabi sa'yo pa, pulihan na to ang letters with, sige na pulihan na to sa letters, number. Kinsa yung bakatag sa number? Huh? <laughs> okay, it's already given. Okay, so there's an algebraic expression may happen sa toa and then we're just going to substitute it for Pulina. And today, we will talk about another topic which is related to algebraic expression but this time, this time, nana siya ay pinataw na sa But prior to that, let's take this example. Can you read that with me? Okay, one, two, three, go. Rain and together. Marbles. Okay? Sabi sa'yo ba? Julie. Kisa ka nula Julie nila. Di na mga nula Julie? Oh my, wala may childhood. Unang kayo yung childhood nila mga nula Julie. Oh, nula Julie nila. Sa una. Sa una. Ay, di na mga nula Julie. Kala ko po. It's not for us. Okay? Kami sa mga nula Julie. Mga pachoy-choy na mga nula Julie. How many marbles do they have together? 24 marbles. What is the first question? Does Martin have? Okay. 24? Okay. Mm. The first sentence will tell us na Ray and Martin na asila yung marbles Dua, silang dua. Pila ka po? 24. So kung i-open daw nila ang ilahang marbles, they will have 24. Pero in the second sentence, what's the second sentence here? Ray has twice as many marbles as Martin have. For example, this is Ray and Martin. Ano yung madali mo naging ko? We have Ray and Martin. In the second sentence, it says, Ray has twice as many marbles does Martin have. What does it mean? Kaduha on ang kadaghanon sa marbles ni Ray kung para ni Martin. Example, kung si Martin na siya isa ka marbles, pila ka po kang kang Ray? Duha. Okay, remember? Kaduha ka man. Kung lima ang iyong marbles, pila kang Ray? Ten. Diba? Teka, duha ka man. Kung nasa'y pulo? 20. Kung nasa'y 15? 30. Okay. That's what it means when we say Ray has twice as many. Okay? 
From the word twice means, sabi saya, kado hapon. And then the first question is that, how many marbles does Martin have? Pila ka ang pamina ninyo? Imagina ninyo, si Ray kado hapon ang iyang ang kadaghanon sa iyong marbles kumpara ni Martin. Sige. Ha? Pero, una na, the first sentence, kung iuban ang ilang marbles duha, pila ka po? 24. So, di ligit pwede magkulang kung magsubra sa 24. Pumunta na, pila ka ang marbles ni Martin kung pala ka rin. 12 ka? Ka, pinsa? Dahil ka rin? Zip. Di, kung kang rate 12 and then kang Martin 24, di 24 plus 12, 36, no? So, ba na 24? Ba? Dapat kung iuba na ni mo ilang marbles, kung so, all di 24. Ha? Sige, sige, atin mo tanga. Sige. So, let's just say we have Ray and uh, Martin. Okay? We have Martin here. Ningon mo ka ganina nga? Pila kang Martin? 12? Hindi kang Ray? 24. Di ba? Kaya twice man. Remember Ray? As twice. Kaduha ko ang kagaganong sa marbles ni Ray compared to Martin. Pero kung itotal ni mo, pila man ito na? 30? So mura pa ayaw. Kaya mo na ito. 24 lang. 12 lang kang kang Ray. Pila na walang Martin? Ito, hindi na po? 6. Kaya kung 6 kang Martin, kanduha ko naman daw kang Ray, so 12, pila na ng ilang total? 18 lang. Kasi ito? 14. Ha? 12 kang kisa. Kang Martin? Hindi 24 lang kang Ray. So, para bitagay. Dapat remember, only 24. Dili pwede mo dapat. Sige, try. Pina dapat kang Ray o kang Martin? Hmm? Pulo, kang Martin? Kang Martin, pula. Kang Tinsa may pulo. Sige, let's just say kang Martin pulo. Kang Ray, kaduha ko naman. 20. Pilay lang total. <laughs> Sobra man. Try, try. Okay, so just son. You start with Martin. Pila ka, una kang Martin. And remember, kang Ray, kadu, upon, or twice. Sige. Other guesses? Eight. Eight? Kang? Martin. Martin? Martin. Nga naman? Kung eight kang Martin, pila man ay kang Ray? Pila ilang sa? Twenty? that way, but we can also answer it differently. Okay? So let me introduce you to another topic today. Wherein, the mito natin is a question later on. When we were in elementary, atong focus will be figures, right? We do not have cubes. Nakita ng turtle? In real? Okay. Di ba? Nang object or pwede kayo drawing. We have basketball. Kung maayang kita mag-drawing, so na, akong drawing, hindi ko balang dito. Okay. Ano, okay, wala din na sa ilawas, okay? And then, also we talk about supermarket, lugar, and then persons, ang atong pagkain mo, we're drumming home, yeah. and then even numbers. If you still remember when I talk about algebra, the first time we talk about algebra, when we use letters, they represent something. So, kaming letters regard for the variables, they lang sa variables. But it could also mean it's the supermarket, 
it could be also it's basket school or and so on and so forth. Manakasahay sa mga bata, murag maulo or mahadlok ta basta makadungot ang algebra. Ang tanan ka ng mama no? Mak, wag ka kang specialist na nakapag high school. Kamusta yung pag-brain sa algebra? Higa na nga sa una. Uy, wala naman kami kung nagsunod ako. Okay. So this morning, we will be talking about equations. Can you say it with me? Equations. Equations. Okay, one more time. Equations. Equations. All right. But specifically, visualizing and solving simple algebraic equations. Okay. Here, when we talk about equations, it says here that, can you read that? Equations? Okay, go. A mathematical sentence that states the equality of two expressions. Diba, nang isto-isto naman ng expression. Can you give me an example of an expression? Okay, can you give me an example of an algebraic expression? Equal 
sign. Okay, now, going back to our question, we were able to answer it. My one, anyway. Okay. okay. But this time, let's do it visualize. How do we put it in algebraic equation? It's x squared. Okay, twice would serve. Okay. Okay. But, okay, here. When we talk about algebra and diodes, just remember we use letters or variables to represent something. So in this case, we will let x the number of Martin's marbles. So I'm using the let the variable x this time. So x will be the number of variable uh, the number of Martin's marbles, and then two x and two x, two times or twice from the question to Gadina. Ray and Martin together have. 24 marbles and Ray has twice. So when you say twice, that's two times Martins. Okay? So the number of Ray's marbles since he has twice as many. And then, what's the given? What's the other given in our classroom? What's the number of 24? What's the 24? What's the 24? What's the 24? Okay? What's the 24? What's the 24? Marbles of who? Nilang, Duha, or Ray, and Martin. So since together, together, ha? Kung i-open daw ang marbles ni Ray and Martin, together yung minimum, 24. So, Martin plus Ray is equal to 24. But in this case, kung sa kanya itong letter na i-assign ka Martin? X. Kang Ray? So if we will put them together, then we will have now x plus 2x is equal to 24. Now, ah, manabarday na siya. We now have the two equal expressions. The first expression, okay, and then the second expression. Okay. Ang iman dito is visualize. So, saan na natin siya pag visualize? So, we have here x plus 2x is equal to 24. Let's just say an example. We have x and 2x. Ilan na nabarta na yung ka-x's? Na isa ka-x, o 2x. Ilan na din sila kung yung bad value? 20 mo? 20. So, remember, ang x here is a variable. Not, in, not, not an operation so we have 3 x is equal to 24 or we can represent that into marbles let's just say I'll have ilang marbles ka rin sila ba? how many marbles? 24 so but ako 24 ba marbles na okay so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, and we have 24 marbles there. So kung ilatang dua, doon ilahang, kadaghan yung silang marbles. Okay. But, there are 3 excess in all. What makes it 3 excess? We have 1 x, and then 2 excess. And then put them together, it's going to be 3. So what I will do now, since I see 3 here, and 24, what I will do with the marbles, I will divide them into three groups of marbles. So we have the first group, so we will divide it by three. So in our expression, it will look like this one. 3x divided by 3, and equal to 24 divided by 3. And the way we visualize it is going to be like this one. Because if you divide... 3x by 3, the answer is, okay? Okay, short recap. Okay. Lalo namin natin yung fractions natin. Okay? We have 3 divided by 3. Right? What's 3 divided by 3? Equal to? 1. Huh? 1. Hmm? 1. Okay? 3 divided by 3. 5 divided by 5. 1, okay? 100 divided by 100. Oh. Sure, huh? Okay. <laughs> Alright. So the same thing here. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1, right? So may mo na lang sa 1. 
X. But how do we write this properly? What's the right way to write this? Do we need to write one? Kinana pa bisa one? No need. Okay. X lang. No need. Okay, because when you say one X or X, they're just the same thing. Okay, isa naman X, no? Dito man satu. Okay? So here, since the divide ng tag 3, what we will do with the marbles, we will divide it also with into three different groups. Huh? So, Karan, with the marbles being divided, pila ka groups sa uh, marbles? One, two, three. Why did we divide it by three? From? Okay, from the three here. And then, so, when we divided it, how many na marbles are there in our group? Pila man ka marbles sa kada grupo? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So therefore, x is equal to eight. Does so remember? Kinsa ka ni si x? Tatong representation? Si Ray o si Martin? Si Martin. Okay. Since since x is equal to 8, okay, this means that Martin has how many marbles? 8 marbles. Okay. And then, since Ray has twice as many marbles as Martin, diba yung nang tagalina, Ray has twice. So since Ray is 8, kila man nagawa kong Ray? Ay, since Martin has 8, Pila man nawa na yung kang Ray? 16 marbles. Okay. So therefore, Martin, 8 marbles, and Ray has 16 marbles. Sir, hindi na yung mga certificate, hindi ko ayaw yun. Hindi mo ko ayaw yun. It's fine, okay? But for the purpose of understanding algebraic equation, okay, now we're in all these things but we didn't have to represent. I jokingly got it the last week, uh, last Tuesday, well, Tuesday, we grade 8. And so good, and I have a good algebra. And then, the example now is that, okay, I'm evaluating algebra expression. Now, I see. Jared, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Example. Na. And then, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Algebraic expression. Uh, J, papalita kung tinapa, pagpila niyo tinapa, kung an, x plus 3, when x is equal to 19. <laughs> Sa mukha ni mo, G, uy. <laughs> okay, pila man, pila man. x plus 9, ay x plus 8, when x is equal to 19, ay, equal to 9. Pagpila niyo tinapa. x plus 9, when x is equal to 9. So, ang iyan, how much? 18 pesos. So, yung mapalit, ang ipag tinapay. Okay. But what I'm trying to say is that we can use algebraic expressions or even equations in representing something. Another example, pwede ka binamos. Okay, pwede ka binamos 2x minus 5 when x is equal to 15. Ang mukha ko, yung mapalit ka binamos. Okay, masalo mo but yeah, all right. So now, okay. Well, you can try. <laughs> okay. Now, how will you represent three n equals twelve using modulus? All right. How will you break? Earlier we used marbles. Karon, kaya nito siyempre sa mga gusto ng mga and that's what we were gonna do at this point. Okay? Can you try it? Can you try it? At this time, we can discuss with your seatmates. Okay? Okay? But again, you're can you can tell me if you're going to talk. Just wait to talk where you are. Okay? So how will you represent 3M equals 12. 
Okay? How will you represent? Okay, go.